Mark my words, Tuesday, September the 13th will be the new ban list. What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today's video is going to be a little bit different than your typical video. In today's video we're going to be talking about the ban list but we're not going to be doing a ban list prediction. I actually did one of those already up on the channel so if you guys want to check it out it's already up there. But in today's video it's more of an open discussion between me and you guys so I really want you guys to comment in this comment section down below what you guys think, what perspectives you guys have, what ideas you guys have. More than just what needs to be on the ban list and what needs to be off the ban list, I actually want to talk more so about this whole concept concept of Konami changing the ban list from like, oh, we're not going to get it sooner than this date versus now where it just says it's going to be in a few months, which is kind of weird. I think that whole turn that they took is kind of different. I understand the business aspect where it was kind of like, oh, if we know we're getting a ban list in a week, then no one's going to be playing or wanting to play until that new ban list comes out and the format kind of dies out early. I understand the business perspective, but just before we get into it a little bit deeper, because there's a lot of stuff to cover in this video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one. We upload five days a week here on Spanko, deck profiles, dual videos, combo videos, product openings, all that good stuff, even stuff like this where we're just having an open discussion. So all that stuff is going to be on the channel. We're almost at 7,000. I know we can make it happen. So back to the topic at hand, essentially, I was talking about the ban list, right? Now, first things first, I'm going to say that I think the ban list, because as of this moment, there's no way they're going to drop a ban list before YCS Niagara. So I think the ban list is going going to drop on Tuesday after the YCS, which is going to be Tuesday, September the 13th. Now, there are a few reasons why I think that's when the balance is going to drop. First one is that I think YCS Niagara, after that event, there's no more YCSs all the way until October. So for that reason, I think that's the perfect time. Like just after the new YCS, we get a ban list. We give people time to prepare for the October YCS. I don't even know where it is. I just don't think there's any until October, maybe late September it is. So for that reason, it'd be the perfect time to drop the ban list. I just want to more so talk about like, that's a good thing that, you know, maybe hopefully we do get a ban list soon, but it's also kind of a weird thing because people were in this weird mindset for the last week and a half that I've been seeing, especially a lot of my high tier competitive players where they were trying to test for YCS Niagara. However, it was very difficult for them because they were saying that at any moment we could have a ban list for the YCS. That's the whole thing that I was talking about, the uncertainty where Konami just said, yeah, you're going to get a ban list every few months. Good luck, right? Where it's kind of just makes the competitive and meta scene very difficult because if I'm prepping for YCS Niagara and I am playing a deck that plays three Mystic Mind and a lot of my strategy, you know, revolves around the Scythe Lock, let's just say, right? Now, I know those are very degenerate strategies. It is what it is. We all want those cards banned, okay? But let's say my deck revolves around those kind of things and then, you know, I'm prepped, I'm ready to go for YCS Niagara and then we get a ban list like, you know, a week before the event and sucks, you can't do that anymore, right? And I think that whole concept is just kind of weird. So that's why I was saying this is more of an open discussion. I don't want to give you guys a an answer to this question. It's not really a, an answer. It's more so my thoughts. I want to hear your guys' thoughts as well. So that was one of the main concerns that I kind of have with this whole format Konami is doing now. Now, I'm not saying it in the sense of like these kind of ideas suck because again, I think I mentioned this earlier, but from a business perspective, it makes sense because if you tell players you're going to get a ban list, you know, in June, let's just say the next ban list will be in June or no sooner than June 15th, right? So you expect it between June 15th and maybe like June 20th, 30th, even like in those two weeks, you expect it to come. So what ends up happening from the player's perspective is if that date is coming by, I am not going to try my hardest to prepare for an event. The meta game will slow down. People will stop buying as many meta cards because they're expecting a ban list that ban list can come. So this randomness kind of from a business perspective makes a little bit more sense because no one can really predict these things anymore. However, a problem is it does kind of impact the secondary market a lot. Now, I know Konami is not one to really care about the secondary market, I don't think. They haven't shown in the past that they care about it at least. So for that reason, I don't think Konami really cares. However, it does still have an impact on that market, which that's going to be a separate video. I don't really want to talk about the market stuff. I just wanted to bring that up, right? Bring up that point. But basically the whole thing I wanted to talk about essentially was kind of like this uncertainty and this feeling of you never know what's going to happen at any moment. And, you know, it makes it hard for even someone like me as a content creator, because I know me and a lot of other creators do deck profiles. And I don't want to bring you guys a deck profile if I'm going to drop it on like a Wednesday and then, you know, Wednesday afternoon or Thursday, you know, there's a ban list and that deck profile is now not useful at all. You know, actually before last ban list, I dropped a branded dino deck profile. I think it was a day before, right? And literally my whole comment section for like a week after that was Verte's banned, Verte's banned, Verte's banned. And I'm like, okay, I get it. I know Verte's 
banned. The video dropped before Verte got banned, but because the video dropped on like a Tuesday or maybe even Wednesday morning, because I dropped my videos at 9 a.m. EST, right? So when I drop my videos, you know, let's say the morning of it's legal and then Konami at like, you know, 1 or 2 p.m. EST, they'll drop a ban list. And then I'm like, okay, well, now what do I do? My video that I just dropped that was going to get a lot of hype that I took a lot of time to spend making is now useless because this ban list is either going to make it not relevant because either the cards in that deck are going to get hit or there's going to be new cards that can be added to that deck or the format is going to change where that deck now has to be built a little bit differently. So there's just so many different things when it comes to deck building. And that's why I haven't actually been doing that many deck profiles for you guys recently because I didn't want to risk, you know, making a deck profile and then in like two days it's useless right because that's really what i don't want to bring that kind of content to you guys not even for my sake i don't want to do it for you guys sake right i don't want to give you guys a profile and then in two days have to redo the profile so the whole uncertainty thing i don't really understand i'm going to be honest with you just from a player's perspective a content creator's perspective just all that kind of stuff the randomness does kind of hurt so i want you guys to let me know what you guys think about that whole uncertainty and the whole randomness and the whole yeah you guys are going to get it in a few months versus you know you guys are going to get it at this date or around this date i know they've never really said or i guess it's been a long time since they said the next ban list will be on this date but they you know they have said in the past and actually just recently they changed it but they have said in the past you know the ban list will be no sooner than this date which means you expect it to happen between this time and you know maybe a couple weeks from that time right so that kind of uncertainty is kind of like what's annoying as both like a player and a content creator it's just kind of like i don't know what's going to happen i don't know what's going on and we're just guessing at that point. Now, as of this moment, YCS Niagara is going to be played under the current ban list. Even if they drop a ban list right after I drop this video, it's not going to affect Niagara. There's no way because the, you guys are going to be seeing this on a Thursday. The event starts Saturday, so there's just no way. But again, like I said, I think the ban list is going to come on a Tuesday. Now, what my next point is here is kind of why I think it comes on a Tuesday. So the last ban list, I believe, came on the Tuesday after a sneak peek. And I've kind of noticed a little pattern where they really like Tuesdays after events and then the ban list takes effect on like the Friday. So I think that's what's going to happen this time. I think after YCS Niagara, they're going to take it all in. They're going to see what happens in the format. I honestly think it's going to be the same thing as the last few events. And then from there, they're going to make their decision and drop the ban list on the Tuesday. Now, I will say one more thing about YCS Niagara, right? And this is kind of another thing that I kind of don't like the idea that the ban list is after YCS Niagara because a lot of people have been wanting a ban list since after like NA Nationals and then European Nationals and then Oceanic Nationals happened and I think YCS Brazil just happened so it was kind of just one of those things where I'm like okay the last season is kind of over you know especially after all those national events that last season is kind of over so why would you carry over this ban list into a new season and honestly we can say YCS Niagara is the beginning of a new season right because this is going to be the first YCS I guess Rio de Janeiro was the first one but I don't remember if Rio and the Oceanic events happened like one weekend apart so maybe that's why they didn't count it but now it's been a few weeks since rio right so at this point we know that that format and that stuff is just left behind and this is kind of like a new season of Yu-Gi-Oh. i always think of september as the new season for things starting right so that's why i thought ycs niagara was going to be the new season of Yu-Gi-Oh. it was going to be the new season you know where there's a fresh ban list we have the power of the elements cards darkwing blast i think is coming out soon so there's just a bunch of stuff happening that's new so i was like okay a fresh ban list ycs niagara everyone starts fresh we're all good to go but yeah of course you guys see that that's not happening now right so again i just wanted to say that that was kind of my thoughts on all the uncertainty and all the things that is going around i'm not even trying to paint it in a negative light it's annoying for me because i'm a content creator but you know for a lot of players maybe you guys like it maybe you guys like not knowing that there's going to be a ban list coming because you know you don't want to be like okay i'm only going to be playing this deck for another week and then this deck that i have right here is not going to be useful or you know you guys don't want to be like okay i have to sell my deck before the ban list because if i don't sell my deck it's not going to be worth money so there's just kind of a lot of things another idea is they could do the ban list post the megatins i don't think that's going to happen only because i don't think anything in the megaton is even worth hitting on the ban list anyways so for that reason i don't think it's going to happen because in the past they've done it post tins 
where the tens reprint cards that are going to get hit on the ban list. They most famously, I think they did it with the 20, it was 2019, I think, or 2018 with the Zodiac stuff where they reprinted Barrage, they reprinted Dryden, they reprinted Broad Bull, and then they were like, okay, banned, right? So that's the thing I was thinking originally, maybe it's post tins, but there's nothing in these tins I don't think that can get banned. So for that reason, I don't think they're gonna wait till post the tins. I think they're just gonna wait till post YCS Niagara, and then on that Tuesday. Mark my words, Tuesday, September the 13th will be the new ban list. Well, I don't know if that's gonna take, when it's gonna take effect, but they're gonna drop it on that day. And whenever it takes effect is when it's gonna take effect. So thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you guys. I know this was kind of more of a discussion video, nothing really here where I was like, showing you guys real entertainment, but I really wanted to let you guys know how I feel about this whole new thing. And I really want to know how you guys feel. That's the most important thing because this is going to be an open discussion or I want it to be an open discussion where I really just hear how you guys feel. And I just want to know what the community feels about this whole like uncertainty and you know, we don't know when it's going to come or you know, we are communicating to Konami that we want a ban list. You know, maybe they can communicate back to us, who knows. But again, the most important thing is just let me know what you guys think. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you guys all for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. We're on the road to 7,000. We upload five days a week here on Spanko. I couldn't be here without you guys. So thank you guys all for watching. And with that, Spanko signing out. Peace.